happiness. And it could be this stage in your life where your success and your happiness is now, listen, I just want to create happiness for myself and for the individuals ar around me. And on that point of balance, was Michael ever direct with you about the sacrifice you would have to make to come on that journey with him? The first thing he told me was, you better keep up. And what did he mean by that? What he meant by that is not as a trainer, keep up in life. Because this ride, we don't know which direction it's going to go in. We don't know if it's going up, down, sideways, but be ready for anything this throws at us. One of the reasons I get along so well with all my clients, professionally, business-wise, socially, or everybody, because they know I'm just as messed up as they are. And I don't judge them. My, uh, my daughter always says, she goes, Dad, you have no weird R. She goes, nothing to you is weird. Nothing to you. I would count his steps. There was no Fitbit back then. There was no, no tracking measurements or so forth. Well, I needed, in my thought, and this went back to my process of not what to think, how to think, is, well, how can I prepare him for his next workout in the morning if I don't know how much physical activity and the differences between the right and left side? So I would literally count, this is how many steps he took left, this is how many steps he took right, this is how many times he took backward, this is how many times he le landed on his right foot, this is how many times he landed on his left foot. So I'd have all this data he ultimately introduced you to somebody else when he retired and stepped out of the game after you know, 15 years of you working together, which was Kobe. And I found it really intriguing that when he introduced you to Kobe, he lovingly used the word asshole. 